is the millennials for Generation Y. The 18 to 29 year old demographic accounts for 20% of the nation's vote, a group that presidential candidates have been trying to reach for a long time. Organizations like Rock the Vote and P. Diddy's Vote or Die attempted to make voting cool, but they never catalyzed a big enough movement. Now, with access to information and so what, what is this gonna, how is this going to be any different? I'm convinced that a huge shift could be coming to the 2008 election. Will the next how is it any different? Will be able to change the world, or are too many of them still on their couches at home? We the people, it's the loo. It, it's, it's, you know, it's just history repeating itself, you know. Right, the same discussion happened in MTV's Rock the Vote. Com. Anastasia Goodstein is here, and in New York, founder and executive director of 18and08.com, David Bernstein joins us. Bernstein, excuse me. Uh, welcome to the Loop, everybody. Uh, let's get it started. Anastasia, first of all, I always wonder, like, you know, are the CNNs and the MSNBCs of the world, are they hurting for a new headline and a new take on this campaign when they yeah. say that, the, you know, the youth is motivated, that now they're energized, or are they, are they really finally motivated enough to make a difference here? I do think they're really motivated. I actually think that eight years of the Bush administration has motivated a lot of people that may not have been motivated before, and especially youth. You know, I read that on Facebook there was a group that formed, you know, for people who dislike uh, George W. Bush, and already over a million people had signed up for that group. So I think the current administration has done better fact check that real quick. any rock right. vote campaign has ever done. But I know a lot of people who are members of the Fall Out Boy and MySpace fan club, but they would never buy a CD of theirs. I mean, do, do Facebooks and, and MySpace pages, do those, do those really translate into poll numbers? You know, I think what they're translating into is sort of an organizing tool for young people, especially young people on campuses, um, to organize each other to get out the vote. You know, text messaging as well has been used a lot in this campaign as a way to remind young people to actually yeah. go to the polls, and I think it's been effective. Well, I, I think just to add to that, I think that, you know, what these new technologies are doing is people are already there. Young people are already in these places, and they're already on these sites, so it's a very natural fit, and I think that that's something that really appeals to young people is being able to sort of just be where they already are and not have to, you know, wait for a candidate to come to them. They turn on their computer, they turn on Facebook and MySpace and YouTube, and the candidates are right there. So there's, I think, a sense of real access and, and direct connection, which I think is what really gets young people excited and inspired. I completely agree with that. But David, what do you think the issues are that are actually motivating people? Like, what, what are these candidates saying and what are they speaking about that makes the youth care? I mean, young people want to be talked to about all the issues that older people are being talked to about, but I think they also are particularly concerned with the war in Iraq, with health care, with global warming. Dark war has been something that a lot of uh, young people have gotten really organized around. I mean, these are issues that young people are starting to see the direct connection to their lives. And I think once you start seeing that, um, young people really start wanting to contribute and wanting to participate in the process. Anastasia. Right, and you know, oh, sorry, I was just going to no, jump in on that too. And so, you know, it's the economy, stupid, right? I mean, it's the economy for everybody, but especially for this generation. I mean, they are graduating with twenty thousand dollars on average in debt. You know, they can't get health insurance, they can't find affordable housing in cities they want to live in. So, I think the economy is a huge and issue for young voters. And minimum wage is something that you know, in the two thousand six elections, uh, when young people actually did vote in large numbers they got rewarded by an uh, increase of the minimum wage and things like that. So, you know, when, when young people respond, politicians do, do go, go to them and say, okay, well, you voted for us, we're going to, to, uh, to do something for you. I mean, young people are the people who benefit most from the minimum wage being raised in some respects. All right, well, Anastasia, let, take us to November, if you will. You know, once the nominees are picked, is this sense of urgency and all this sense of energy, is that going to fade away once we're at that point, or is it only going to grow exponentially? You know, I really hope it doesn't fade away, and I hope that it grows. Um, I think it depends on who the candidate is. You know, I think that Barack Obama has done an amazing job at organizing young people. I mean, he started over a year ago on campuses. He was one of the first to really embrace all of this social media, and I think he's really, you know, embodied this sort of colorblind generation, you know, in terms of really being a candidate who moves beyond race. And, you know, he speaks in very idealistic terms, and I think young people tend to be idealistic, and they want to hear about hope. David, do you, agree, do you agree that the candidate that gets chosen here uh, in, in November, is that going to have the biggest say on whether or not the youth turn out? Absolutely. I think that people, young people and everyone, are really hungry for an election that's not just uh, two guys in suits, like we've seen for a long time. 
and I think that you know, people want real excitement and real energy, and people want to talk about issues. Two guys in suits. People really what? want to get deep into this campaign. So I think you know it's important to see you know, who the nominees are because that will ha have an impact. Because it's so much right. easier to connect with someone who's a personality than a specific you know abstract concept. Right. Well, Anastasia, you said you know Barack Obama did a great okay. job of reaching out to the youth. Yeah, well, that's a good definition. Do you think definition. you're going to wish that they reached out to the youth more when it when it comes time? Um, you know, Clinton. I, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I think Hillary is, is probably, you know, a little bit late to the game. I think, you know, even though Barack Obama isn't from this generation, he's technically a boomer, um, I think that young people relate to him more. I think they grew up with Bill and Hillary, and it feels like, you know, the same old, same old. David, it sounds and like you'd agree with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, Barack Obama looks young, if, you know, and that's a great entry point. I mean, people aren't voting for him because he looks young. But that's a great way to connect with him. You look at him and you say, this is someone who might be able to understand, you know, mm -hmm. what's going on with me, what I'm thinking about right now. And I think that um, all the campaigns, though, are really realizing that there are 29 million young voters. Yeah, uh, and the sad, the sad voters. truth of that is and the truth. all the campaigns right. do have, for the first time, a full-time person devoted to reaching out to young voters. Right. Uh, I think yeah, or even long, their... I was just going to say, even their kids, you know, I think McCain's daughter is blogging, and Mitt Romney has sons that are blogging, so, you know, they're... they're yeah, but his sons are like, the like youngest one is like 25. And getting motivated. Yeah. All right, I want to thank Anastasia and David. Thank you guys so much for joining us and keeping thank us you. in the loop. Right now, let's go over to Olivia to see how the finger stash is turning out. I mean, there's, a, there's obviously a Sanchez joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to make it, because I'm, I'm classy and under the weather. Yeah. Yeah, you're classy and gross, Kev. Okay, so when we left Chris, he said he was, uh, it was fun, then he said it went to a 10, but apparently he told me that it went to a 15 somewhere in there. So, so Chris, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Stop lying to the people when we're not on camera. You tell me it hurts, and now you're saying it's okay. No, it does hurt. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It hurts, but no, it's bearable. I'm getting through it. Now, Kat, how much longer do we have? Um... Well, I think if he keeps whining like this, I'm just <laughs> No, no, no. We're, we're, we'll be done shortly. You're, you're doing good. Yeah, you've been, you've been like a rock. All right. Well, hopefully when we come back, this will all be finished, and you'll finally confess about how much it really hurts. Cause trust me, he says it hurts a lot. But, you guys, we will be right back. Why, why, he he, why isn't he running. having her do it while she's topless, you know, or naked, you know. <laughs> but, oh, man, because we're, we're all the tattoos go, so. Whew, anyways, uh, but, uh, okay. Well, okay, so, so I'm kind of curious, like, uh, that million strong against George W. Bush, I, I can't find that. Um, and it's interesting how the guy said, yeah, it's going to be youthful. Yeah, that's true. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I think they forgot to mention that a lot of people are, are sick and fed up of either of it either being a, a Bush or a, a, a Clinton in office. So, but anyways, so I don't know. It's a real interesting uh, approach to it. Uh, Economics, true. Work, work, work. Um, I, was getting old at the age of I think ultimately that's just you know, that's the thing, thing I've I've school. picked up from it is uh, tech, you know hey, like he's got family, channel your votes in you know the way of economics so and you'll win every time so to speak but everything else eh, whatever happens. Uh, good loop and uh, I'm kind of glad they had it there and I'm, gl I'm glad they gave, kept it more to a not politics but a well, how's the system working? How's the system going to adjust and cope with it? So that's a, a good way of uh, handling, you know, a topic like that. Uh, also removes a lot of the controversy. So, but it's good to see, like, just how are the you know uh, candidates using the internet and just everything at their disposal.